but this is for me to come back in case i later on am stuck with something and this is how i deployed a web app a flask web app using azure web service so it's very easy i went and installed the azure app service extension and then i wrote like three files this is my model this is the app.py file which is a simple file which takes an image and converts the image to an array predicts like gets a prediction using the model and then returns the class with the maximum probability so that's it and it's running on port 5000 this is the requirements.txt file which has the requirements and that's it there's these three files so go here i'll have to run this So the app is running and now we will go to Azure. Then here you can create a new web app. I already have a web app created. So I'll just click on deploy, select the folder, select the web app and just deploy it. So we can go to the output window. This takes quite some time to deploy, right? So once this is done, the like as in the app, the home page has a simple text Yoke API. So it's what it would look like, Yoke API, and like the API call can be tried out with. A test API endpoints file like here or we can use a curl request as well so this will take time so once um, the app is deployed and it shows deployment successful, which will take a lot of time. Let's just use a curl request and pass an image of a like a random yoga pose to check if it's working properly. And it has predicted a class, like an image class from here. Right. Here it has predicted a class for that image, so it's working fine. This is another API which was taking a simple, like some JSON data and was just, this was just a test API and was returning like the array repeated to the prediction. Yeah.